שלום, ברכתי הלאה, בעל שם, בעל שם, בעל שם וחר קדש, כל הפריטות וגלוריות שאתם יכולים לדעות, especially in the times we're living in. Much honors and respects to the apostles and others of great most song, and to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and truth, rightfully dividing the word of truth, I say shalom. All right, um, the title for this lesson will be Prophecy, Russia and the Ukraine Crisis. Now, before we actually get into the lesson, all right, this is uh, to bring this to your attention. All right, as you see here, there's a video put up by Remnant Say 144. That's the other Yashawamba out in Dallas, all right? And again, this was uh, put up three days ago. Christian pastor, his name is Massey, Pastor Massey, I believe. All right, the brothers are familiar with him, all right? Tries to break down end time prophecy. And it's not just him. That's all these people that are into this plantation Christianity. And I don't care whether it's Catholicism, where, which is the source of the issue and the problem. But again, all these different denominations, whether, you know, Baptist, Pentecostal, Protestantism, you know, Calvinism, so on and so forth. They all come under the umbrella of the Vatican. Okay. So you all need to understand that. So my point before going into the lesson, I want to show you what it looks like when these guys try to break down scripture. Now, I'm not going to play all this video because I got a lot of work here to, to give you, a lot of info, all right? And, of course, I'm going to give you an example. I'm just going to play a little bit. He's going to cut himself, all right, because... He doesn't know prophecy, okay? None of them do, all right? Because they go to theological seminary schools. They don't deal in prophecies, okay? They're not shown, all right, or taught how to break down prophecy. Just like in the Bible, besides prophecies, guess what else it talks about? And it talks about many things. It talks about Regeneration, which is reincarnation. That's biblical. So they don't know about that either. Okay? Do you understand? All right? So anyway, without further ado, let's play some of this video. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, he's going to cut himself. Then we're going to get into some scripture. And then I'm going to give you some example. All right? Very quickly. All right? What we mean by breaking down prophecy, and you have to come into that understanding. And the only way you can come into it is that the spirit of the Most High has to be supping with you. Okay? Nobody's simply going to open up the scriptures and come into the knowledge of. All right? And get the understanding. All right? It doesn't work that way. And... For that person to have received it, you would have had to have been chosen, called in by the Most High. And when would that have taken place? When you were spirit, before the foundation of the world, before the world began. So this stuff gets deep. But this is the understanding of the scriptures. How many of them are going to tell you that? They're not. All right? All right. Let's, uh, let's get to this. All right? Praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, and as you can see the title of this video, this is why nobody wants to listen to Christian pastors anymore. Okay, and this is a known false prophet. I forget his name, but um, he's hilarious. All right, but he's a false prophet. And um, pretty much, he's getting ready to try to break down what's happening. His uh, name is Pastor Massey, I believe. Let's continue. And, you know, with Russia and Ukraine, which we go into these things all the time. All right, 
And for years, you know, Christian pastors, you know, they didn't go into uh, prophecy. You know, they would tell you it's sealed or, you know, we, we don't need to worry about that. You know, but with the rise of the Israelites, you know, we go into these things for the most part, the, the Israelite camps. All right. Some, you know, uh, more than others, some don't have it. Right. But the, the, the breakdown of these things is out there now. You know, we've been going into the beast system. We've been going into, um, you know, Gog and Magog. You know, we've been going into what is Babylon the Great, you know, the dragon. You know, and, you know, they, they're watching and they're, you know, they don't agree with us, you know, but they're trying to go into prophecy. And when they do that, they make a fool of themselves. You know, that's why guys like Vocab Malone stay away from prophecy when you try to deal with prophecy they don't want nothing to do with it because they don't understand prophecy now does the scriptures say the testimony of yahweh shai is the spirit of prophecy but anyway let's listen to this guy try and break down what's happening man and we'll pause it at points you know and uh cut his mishaps but for the most part let's just listen to this guy we're in that period now now, the prophet Ezekiel prophesied this many moons ago in Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 2, where he talked about Gog, who is Russia, and also the beast. And make Russia and the beast have nothing to do with each other. Gog and the beast have nothing to do with each other. Okay, uh, the beast is ultimately fulfilled in the European Union, okay, uh, along with NATO. In Babylon the Great. Okay, remember NATO was created to combat the uh, USSR, man. Russia has nothing to do with the beast system. Now, Russia in this modern time is ran by Edomites. Okay, Gog and Magog, it is ran, you know, particularly by Edomites, although those are Japhetic lands. At these, in these last days, it's being ran by other Edomites. Okay, but remember they're separated and the Lord is going to use particularly Edomites to fight against other Edomites. Even, you know, the uh, beast system is going to fight against Babylon the Great. But Gog and Magog have nothing to do with the beast system. All right. Off. Gog, which is China and the dragon. Now he says Magog is China. <laughs> You know, Magog is now China. Right. You see what it says right there, right in front of you people? It says the land of Magog, the land formerly of Japheth. The brother just finished telling you that. You see, they don't understand prophecy. Okay? Yes, God is Russia, but you see what it says there. Right? Ezekiel 38 and 2, son of man, set thy face against God. Right? And uh, the land of Magog. You see? So Magog is not talking about another nation of people. All right? It's just saying the land of Magog because that goes back to the time of Japheth. Okay? Because all of Europe was all Japhetic people. Okay? Prior to Alexander the Great and his father, King Philip the Macedonian, you know, Conquering and colonizing all of Europe. You understand? This is when the Edomites first come into power. This is when the evils were multiplied in the earth. You read this in your Bible, in First Maccabees. All right? Let's uh, continue a little more. You hear this foolishness? And we're going to play it all the way through in a minute. But, you know, while we play it the first time, we're just going to stop it. Here and there, but this guy is out of his mind, man. Now, the thing about China and the dragon, what what China does... Now, he says China is the dragon. When you go into the scriptures, the dragon is ancient Rome and the revival of that ancient Rome. You see? What the hell is this guy talking about? And he's already told you, uh, Elba Yashawamba, all right? The uh, revival of the ancient Roman Empire is the EU, all right? That's the Ten Horns. NATO is the beast. And America, Babylon the Great, 
who is the whore, all right? And even like he said earlier, America's own allies, Edomites, are going to be sending ICBM missiles onto America. And again, you read that in Revelation 17 chapter. All right, let's continue a little bit more. Even the beast is a revival, all right, of the ancient Roman Empire. There it is, people. Which is fulfilled in Babylon, a great the NATO and the EU. China has nothing to do with that. Just because China, you know, uses the, the dragon and their symbolism on their so-called New Year's and all of that, and they worship the dragon, doesn't mean that the dragon is talking about China and prophecy, man. Is it refutes what communism does as well. It refutes the, the Genesis account of God cursing the serpent. Wait a minute. The lion of the tribe of Hamites. What in the hell is this dude talking about? Look at the left corner. The lion of the tribe of Hamites. Who's that? What is that? What are you talking about? And I believe he teaches that we here, you know, the so-called Negro over here in America are Hamites. I believe that. All right. Somebody can put it on the comment board if they know. Yeah, he's totally going off. The lion represents the head tribe Judah. Okay. Which is the head tribe of the 12 tribes from the tribe of Judah all the way down to the tribe of Ishakar. Okay, but the lion represents the head tribe, Judah, which our Lord comes out of, right? We read that uh, in Hebrews 7, 14, all right? All right, let's continue. For sure. But what the hell is he talking about? Let's rewind it a little bit. This dude is going all the way off. The Genesis account of God cursing the serpent, who was a dragon at the time and walked on all four. And when God cursed him, that he should go on his belly, losing his legs as a result. So the, the, the serpent was crawling on all fours, and then the Lord cursed him. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's, let's go back. Who was the dragon? At the all right, you know what? We're going we're gonna to end it here, all right? But obviously, you could see this folly. He's making a fool of himself. He doesn't understand scripture, all right? Um, we'll be right back with part two, all right? And uh, I'm going to give you examples of uh, breaking down scripture, all right? Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of examples, all right? How to properly break down scripture, okay? Uh, but again, people, it takes you... You have to be chosen, all right? And that word chosen goes back to the Greek, electos, to be elect, all right? You can't walk in to do this work unawares, all right? And us making the videos and going out and street teaching, this is all about waking up the elect, that this goes into the ears of the elect, they hear the word, all right? Which, uh, you know, you can go back to... Uh, the precept, uh, I believe, uh, what is that, uh, Isaiah 30 and uh, 21, all right, where you hear the word, okay, and that light switch comes on, all right. Anyway, we'll be right back with uh, part two. Shalom.